Call it a sign of the times. In the next few weeks, kids will head back to school, and some may take a class or two where there's no teacher at the head of the class. A number of Tulsa County schools have ventured into the world of e-learning. Tulsa Tech is pioneering the program. Two News anchor Russ McCaskey sits down with one of the leaders to find out how it works. Happy today to have Robert Franklin, one of the associate superintendents for Tulsa Tech with us. Thanks for being with us today. Absolutely. Appreciate to be here, Robert. Uh, you know, Tulsa Tech is, is really seems to be hitting on all cylinders these days, doing some great things, some innovative things. And I and, uh, wanted to have you on to talk about the E2020 program that you have. Tell us a little bit about what this program is. Well, essentially, we, we worked together in collaboration with our sending school partners, created a project called the Tulsa Tech eSchool Network whereby all the schools worked together to collaboratively purchase some software. But it was really to get us all into the virtual learning world, which is uh, you know, a phenomenon that a lot of people have, have railed against, but it's a reality that works and works well. So it's, it's been really kind of exciting to watch. We're getting ready to launch year two. And, and I would see how some schools might be a bit apprehensive to, to go into the e-learning situation, but if you, if you do it together as a big group, I guess there's some, some power numbers. And, and then also you make sure that you're getting into a program that really is legitimate. Yeah, we basically collectively had studied it for several years. Tulsa Tech had launched in our success centers, which they are at each of our campuses, an opportunity for folks to go that want to work on getting credits recovered, work on studying their GED, preparing for the ACT. We have been doing that for a couple of years. But collectively, all the schools were trying to do of their own independent sort a similar kind of project. But we decided that collectively together, we could save taxpayers a lot of dollars if we did from the from purchasing of, of the vendor. And we did. We saved probably at least a half a million dollars in, in that initiative. And that's been a good thing. But collectively, what we've also learned is the power of working together with colleagues from Jinx, Owasso, Broken Arrow, Sperry, Union, uh, Sand Springs has been really powerful. So if you if you have a student who, you know, maybe has some kind of illness, cancer or something like that, breaks a leg, they're out for an extended period of time. Uh, this is a great way for them to get caught up. That's, you know, those kind of things, as a former high school principal, used to drive you crazy because you were going into your teachers and you're saying, hey, look, I need 30 days worth of lesson plans. Can you get me that? And they're scrambling like crazy to get those things prepared. Those, that era is gone because at the couple of button clicks, I can get very specific on the skills that they were working on, the, the curriculum that they need, develop it independently for that specific student. You know, that's just one example. Uh, a student who's had a discipline issue, a student that is also trying to free up their schedule so that they can pack more into their day so that they can also enjoy some of the extracurricular activities that they couldn't fit in. This is another way for them to, to enjoy that as well. Now, the, the, so kind of describe a little bit how it works. Is it like an instructor? Is it like a DVD almost? We like to say is it's a blended style, a blended approach. It's powered by this curriculum. There is a teacher that is a video of this teacher. Mm -hmm. They can rewind their teacher. They can pause their teacher. They can. That's kind of a cool part that you would have always loved to do back in, in high school. You'd always love to pause your teacher or rewind her, uh, maybe even fast forward her. Uh, but that's something that they can do. In addition, there's all of these powerful resources that go right along with that tutorial support. But what most of the schools are using is they're also using a teacher, a highly qualified teacher back at their home school to manage that student who is using that kind of software. So if for the, the parents who may have a child that's in one of those school districts that is, where this is available, how do they get into it if they're interested? They just yeah, contact their, really, their They need to contact so their principals and, yeah. their, and their counselors. It's, it's curriculum that's designed for sixth grade all the way through their senior year. Uh, there are AP courses, so a student could take an AP psychology class, an AP economic class, uh, sponsored by and endorsed by College Board, which that's the, the, you know, the premium standard by which you know, schools say that, okay, if indeed it's an AP course, it's sanctioned by another College Board. It's not just your high school saying this is an advanced course. Uh, so if they want to take a course in that kind of mindset, then they need to get with their high school principal and their counselor, and they can begin to work their schedule accordingly. And the program's been so successful. Successful now, other uh, tech around the state are all looking at this. That's been a model that has really proven to be a, a consortium model has worked well, and so there's a couple of other career techs that have launched this year. Canadian Valley, which is down in the El Reno area, uh, they've done the very same thing. Tri County up in the Bartlesville area have done the same thing, whereby schools are working together with their career tech centers to to utilize again number one the buy down power, number two to collectively work together in a consortium format. And professional development is is golden. It's really worked well. Just one of the many good things going on out there at Tulsa Tech. Robert, thanks Thank for being with us today. Thank you very much. We appreciate you.